So good afternoon again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to BASF at K2016. We will have our last live talk for today now, and we are going to talk about EcoVio for biodegradable fruit and vegetable bags. I'm very happy that I have two experts with me here on stage. To my right side is Marcel Perfort. Here is the general sales manager for Reifenhäuser, and Jörg Aufermann, who's part of our biopolymers team. Gentlemen, welcome. Happy to have you here. Um, Marcel, maybe we start with the first question to you. Reifenhäuser, um, probably most of the people here at K know it. You also have an impressive booth uh, in Hall 17. What's your company all about? Well, our company is all about extrusion. So um, all we produce are uh, extruders. So we are the extrusioneers. And it's a family-owned company with more than 100 years. And uh, we produce blown film lines, sheet lines, cast extrusion lines. It's all about extrusion. And last but not least, non-volvents. Jörg, um, how uh, did the cooperation for this specific application with Reifenhäuser, how did that start? What's the product all about? Maybe you can tell us about that. Yeah, our product is a film product. And uh, it was um, exclusively developed for the French market because uh, in, in France, beginning of next year, we have a ban of HDPE bags currently used for the packaging of uh, fruit and vegetables, meat and fish. And uh, it's banned by legislation. So we have to solve the problem because biodegradable polymers are exempted. And therefore, we developed a product for this specific application. And our corporation started in the extrusion part because they are the specialists for downgaging the film to a certain thickness below 10 micron. They have special equipment to further downgage the material. And that's the beginning of a very good cooperation to work together. So this, this sounds also like some kind of pioneering work. Have you been working with the product before or has it been developed specifically for that application? Well, I know BSF as a bio product producer since a relatively long time. And um, I've been in touch personally with this product already several years ago. But I also obtained a problem with these materials, which is obviously the price. And uh, this is probably not in your favor, but it's an issue. And um, our customers were approaching us. They know this is an excellent product and they have to go into this direction. And the question was how to downgauge the product in order to get a probably a little bit cheaper product, but still with very good properties. Uh, you talked of the properties, which is a very good uh, key now for you, Jörg. Um, is the product basically done and finished currently, or is there constant development going on? No, there are specific requirements on the, on the compound itself. Uh, beginning of next year, it has to be 30% renewable content. Uh, it has to be fully biodegradable under home compost conditions. And the future foresees um, a further increase in the renewable content. That means in 2018, we will have 40%, and in 2020, we will have 50%. And for that reason, we have to develop new products. We have to look for further monomers. We have to increase the current monomer uh, to a certain amount to fulfill the requirements. And, which is very important, the back confectioning is also a really big topic because um, for HDP, it's well known. But for our product, it's more soft. We have to work yeah. also in cooperation with the back manufacturing part. Yeah. Yeah. And this is also uh, with the help of Weifenhäuser, we did a very good job there. Marcel, did you have to um, um, uh, kind of change your processes uh, for the product or could you easily just drop it into the running equipment? At the end, I have to admit that um, our job was relatively easy because the material is very easy to process. Nevertheless, there are some changes which increase output, specific output on the machines and which give you better mechanical properties. But I have to say that on most classic blown film lines, these products can be processed very easily. Um, another question to you, Marcel. Our theme this year here at K is how we go from the idea to the ideal solutions. And, and obviously, this is a lot about cooperation. How do you perceive the cooperation with BASF in general? Are we slow? Are we fast? <laughs> Well, you are pretty fast. Um, uh, we are cooperating uh, also on our road shows together. 
and um, we have had the chance to do several trials into several directions already in our laboratory. So we did different end applications, not only this one, um, and uh, we reached fantastic results on that. So I can say that the working with BSF is a pleasure and it's a pretty fast ongoing project. Jörg, now you have to agree, you know that. Huh? <laughs> yeah, no Marcel, chance. many thanks for the... <laughs> and uh, I can agree, we had a very good job. Uh, we did several trials and uh, we see that there's huge potential mm -hmm. in our product. Um, therefore, we decided also to keep the recipe, but only increasing the renewable content because uh, the properties are fine. And maybe we have some new equipment in the, pr in the future, which we further increase the throughput or the um, down gauging potential of our product. Um, you mentioned that the push for this application for this bag basically is a, is a French thing right now. Do you also see the pressure increasing in other European countries or somewhere else currently? Yeah, there is, there is a common legislation in Europe to increase, uh, decrease, sorry, the, bag per, um, the bags per, per headcount. For that reason, we believe that there is some further room. French is one example. They decided to go for a certain amount of uh, polymer to a renewable home compostable solution. In other regions, maybe they have dual use um, bags, but I'm absolutely sure that there will come also some other regions to decide on biodegradables, especially if there is a tax on bags. Then maybe the higher price of our polymer, we can just avoid a tax increase. So Marcel, you, you also see from your customers, from the appliers, basically you see that the request increasing for bio-based or biodegradable material? Definitely. We see a strong demand and it's a, it's a global demand. It's a worldwide demand. France is now, uh, I think, a step ahead due to this legislation. But uh, from all over the world, we see the demand in this direction, even from countries where you would not predict that it is uh, that there is really a tendency. Um, we were just discussing with customers from China and India exactly this subject because they know that there are tendencies tendencies in their countries as well. Yeah, and it's and and I think it's necessary. I think we also um, have um, we have an application in agricultural solutions, for example, which also is mainly used in China. I think. Uh? Yeah, there is a big market in China because the consumption in China for um, mulchfin in general, PE, is huge. Mm -hmm. And there is a big potential uh, to solve some problems in China with the white pollution mm -hmm. by our material. And it's working. We have a soil certification for our product and uh, we can downgauge it to 8 micron. And it's perfect solution also for the agriculture film. Okay. Gentlemen, thank you very much thank you. for those interesting Pleasure. insights into the cooperation and into the product. I invite you all to have a little tasty clementine with a biodegradable fruit and vegetable bag. Thank so you. thank you again. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you.